T1. They have been faced with the LPL gauntlet. They took down BLG in the Swiss stage. They took down LNG in the quarterfinals. Looking at JDG here, can they do it? Tension on each and every play that JDG are going to try to go for at this stage of the game. They cannot afford any more slip-ups, any more mistakes. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the shockwave of Knight. Kanavi stepping in. Flash to the side from Faker. Ooh. At the cost of very Kanavi. little. Oh, no, Walking more, but Faker now dominating. Kanavi! A massive mistake. Carry now going in. The Ruler's untouched. Goes golden and now Ruler. Looking to take over the fight. Ruler still standing. Goomba still standing. Goomba firing back. Ruler goes down. Goomba's just better. Run from it. Dread it. T1 are inevitable. <laughs> That is T1 versus the LPL, and they like those odds. Baker, over 10 years into his career, will head to another World Finals. At the head of this squad that has had so much success, but still chasing the cup. So good. I've been talking about this kind of all-world championship with Zven, with Ashley Kang, with Caster June, with Chronicler. This aura that T1 has around them where when they do something good, it's the loudest the crowd has been all tournament to that stage. And when the other team does something good, it's like crickets. And that can manifest in one of two different ways. That can be really hard for either side, depending on how you react to it, honestly. Because, like, it's just so unusual to have that disparate of a crowd advantage in a League of Legends match. And I think in this most recent semifinal, that probably got to JDG. So I'm not on desk today, but T1 versus JDG in Korea uh, is going to be pretty fun to watch. There's also the player intros from Caster June that I normally don't really get to experience live because I'm on a headset or I've just done a segment, but I'm going to get to watch it today. He's going to be much louder when he actually does it. I remember watching his intros in like 2012 or something. I always thought he'd lose his voice. Yet here he is. Ah! <laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, how you feeling today? Ah. Uh. Uh, frankly speaking, nervous. <laughs> yeah. T1 versus Jingdong. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. talked before the BLG one, the BLG game back in uh, Seoul, uh, mm. and we were both thinking that we wanted T1 to win, but we were like not confident. <laughs> Is that the same? Ah, 이 자리에 온 T1을 응원한 SK 팬분들 모두 오늘 경기 절대 자신 없을 겁니다. I guarantee. Yeah. 여기 T1 팬 있어요? T1 팬? Yeah. 거 아시죠? 우리 그말 말 조심해야 되는 거 알죠? 예! 여러분, 오늘 저는 오늘 경기 정말 자신 없거든요. 여러분, 오늘 티원 경기 자신 있어요? 아니에요. <웃음> <웃음> not one, not one hundred percent. 다시 오늘 자신 있으면 안 돼요, 우리. 알죠? 무슨 얘기인지? 예, 무슨 말인지 알죠? 우리 자신 있으면 안 돼요 오늘. 여러분, 오늘 경기 자신 있어요? 없죠. 없죠. 우리 너무 걱정되죠. 네. 네, 그래도 끝까지 응원해 주세요. 감사합니다. 어. Uh. Uh, I'm not confident. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't asked you this before. Do you think being in Korea makes it easier or harder for T1? 아, 당연히 한국에서 경기를 하게 되면 T1 입장에서는 아, 
한국에서 경기를 하게 되면 당연히 T1 입장에서 어드밴티지가 있고 만약에 징동이 중국에서 경기를 하게 되면 당연히 어드밴티지가 있다고 생각을 해요. G2가 유럽에서 경기하면 당연히 어드밴티지가 있고 음. 그런데 홈그라운드에서 경기하는 팀은 절대 우승하지 못하는 우리가 저주가 있어서 그렇긴 한데 아무튼 분명히 홈그라운드 이점은 있죠. 이렇게 많은 팬들이 응원해 주고 계시고 먹는 거라든가 뭐 자는 거라든가 컨디션 관리라든가 이런 것도 엄청 좋은데요. 당연히 이점이 있을 수밖에 없죠. 이거는 T1 카페. 오케이. 이게 like right behind of the the facility. Yeah. It's cute. And which is like the older fans can actually just come in for free. Oh, right. You know, just watch the game, just drink yeah. some good cafe, and they have a special menu with it as well. Right. Like, and which is, we're gonna try some of the players that's special on the menu. Okay. So we got owner s a t e Oh, k a r i is sold out. k a r i is sold out. He's popping off. He's too good. He's, he's, too he's, good. he's too good. Can I do the Guma drink? Do you want anything? Uh, sure, I'll take the one and also Guma drinks. Okay, well. two Guma drinks. Yeah, two Guma drinks. That's so funny. They need the Faker's green flavor. I know, that's what I wanted to try. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it green? I just don't understand. Faker thumbs up. Beautiful. Pose. The Faker thumbs up. The Faker thumbs up. After he the JDG series, he gave a thumbs up to the cameraman. Mm -hmm. And the cameraman was like, now give me a thumbs down. And Faker was like, <laughs> he just did another thumbs up. <laughs> what was it like playing with Faker? And I'll get a little more specific because mm -hmm. we saw this year when he was not on the team, they were one of the worst teams in the whole league. Yeah. And now they're they in world finals. In final. <laughs> Did he do anything there that was just like different than yeah. any other, any other middle-earning? Easily. Like? I mean, I've been, I've, I've talked to multiple times that like <laughs> what he bring to the team is like Faker sees something that we don't see. Like there was a lot of time, like we won after team fight. Oh, what we need to do? Like, it's oh, everything's come down from Faker. What we need to do? Oh, let's push mid tower right and away. go back to the Baron. Yeah, I still remember one. There's one clip that we won, that we hard won, we stomped them in the team fight. Yeah, and four people went to the Baron, but only okay. one Faker was go to the mid tower to push the tower. <laughs> but Faker saw the angle that we can actually take two tower, three tower, and go back to the Baron, and we could still get it. Okay, so yeah. like he knows how to maximize the, the all the fight. Mm -hmm. And minimalizes of the the loses, mm -hmm. so that's why I think he's like the best. And usually he's a has a way better, I was the accuracy of the call. Yeah. So as a shot caller, I mean he's like the greatest the go. I've ever yeah played with. I thought T1 lost this one like 10 minutes ago. Me too. Now come, focus, kill it. Up to win that game, yeah. and they literally did like three times. It's crazy. We are here yeah. at the first floor of the T1 HQ called T1 HQ shop. Basically, okay. push over on the door. Okay, so this is this is also open for fans. Yeah. Okay. And you see like all the you know the gear and the Red yeah. Bull. You can check the you know test playing, and this is the. Where the, oh, the trophies Holy are crap. here. So 10 domestic titles, mm -hmm. three world titles, two MSI titles, mm -hmm. and maybe even more. Do they win a Rift Rod? Everything is not here. You, okay, because this is still a lot though. Are some of yours here? Oh, 2016, mm -hmm. 2017, this is you. It's me. Yeah. At least I did something to T1. 
Yeah. I did Fair something. I'm, the last Korean to win MSI is mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, this is a lot of jerseys. So this is all, all time of the T1, the oh. jersey. But you know what makes us even more special though? What? This is everything from Baker. Oh, these Older. are all game-worn yeah. Faker jerseys? Yeah. Oh, that's sick. They still have the one. There's some old ones there. It's like when they were SK Telecom versus when they are just T1. So... That's got to be the oldest one. Because <laughs> I don't... I'd never see more of that today. I'd wear that one. That's a... Yeah. That's a 2017 Wars. Yeah. It has a three stars on it. Because it already it? won three worlds. Yep. It's quite a flex to do the three stars, but not it be your domestic titles. Because everyone else that's is just like, oh, we're six stars. Like, no, three... Three stars with the These wars, are real stars. Wars, yeah. yeah. The rooftop, as you see. Yeah, this is nice, 10th floor rooftop. Has a really nice view, chilling. Finals is gonna be really fun. It's, we're living in, yeah. we're living in good time. Yeah, and also just like, thank you, thank you for the tour. Uh, I think a lot of times, like League of Legends has been 10 years long. I think a lot of players can get like forgotten in history, but you had a legendary career. And also, like, you continue to be impactful. Like your LCK cast, even your like random TSM coaching. Like, <laughs> you're always so fun to talk to. And I just, I don't know, I just love your energy. And uh, it was really fun today. We are definitely at the home ground of the LCK. Yeah. And T1 is such a big part of the LCK fandom in general. Mm -hmm. And it's even like accelerated by the fact that T1 is the only remaining LCK team right now. Yeah. Last time T1 was playing against LNG, I saw people with KT uniforms or Gen Z uniforms or mm. even like Damwon or Hanhua. And all the LCK fans in general were coming to support T1. Yeah. Yeah, so this crowd is overwhelmingly, you know, T1 favorite right now. How special is, would the story be if like in Korea, after Faker hasn't won world since 2016. It's actually been like a whole career for other players. Um, if he could win worlds in Korea yeah. while also beating literally all four LPL teams, because that's how it'll work out, because they 2 0 BLG, yeah. then LNG, JDG. I don't know, it just seems really amazing if it's able to happen. You know, mm -hmm. he has been the most consistent player yeah. by many, many levels mm -hmm. in several, like, you know, generations of, you know, yeah. legends almost. And I will say that him winning Worlds will almost be like um, com almost like a completion of the narrative, almost like Messi winning the Football World Cup. Yeah, Everyone exactly. already recognizes him as the greatest of all time, yeah. but we just need that one extra trophy yeah. to say to feel complete. Yeah, feel complete almost. It's still alive. Charm's gonna let him oh! oh! Is he gonna be able to walk away? Laker is still running. Oh! Chase, it's Steph, onto his face, looking for a little bit more, and he's not oh. gonna go down, Baker! Coming, Bang looking to come in, here comes your initiation, 33! Oh, oh my god, Baker shot, Wade will find them all! In round two, he's ignited, he's ever fought! Oh. And Baker with five fouls! <laughs> 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 what are they saying? It's Pastor Jun's name. Oh, that, that's amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah. That was just an unbelievable moment to witness live. 
I was in the stands. I'd never heard them louder. I couldn't contain my own emotion. I was, in that moment, I was super biased. I was a Faker fan. I did not want to see JDG do anything, even if the Golden Road story was super cool. And I think probably 95% of League fans are similar because of the, the things that Faker means to League of Legends in Korea, the things that Faker means to League of Legends in the world.